And this is the Steel Series Arctis Nova 1P, coming in at a price tag of $59.99. And at any point during the video, you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. The smooth system for adjusting the band is great and feels like it will last a very long time. All the plastics are well put together and don't attract fingerprints and look really great after just a lot of use. The controls on the headset don't feel parts binny and they feel more custom and just nice. The mic is a pull outable mic and fits perfectly back into the body of the headset which makes this look just more like a normal headset, which is just so cool. For where your headset's on the headset, there is an adjustable elastic band, which feels very high quality. SteelSeries just went the extra mile with the build quality here, and it's honestly very impressive. For the controls, there's a mic mute button that feels great, and it is a toggle switch, like not a toggle switch, but a toggle button. So press it in and it's muted and press it to pull it out and it's unmuted. Then. That makes sense. Then a linear volume wheel, which does feel good. And again, not parts binny because it's like a custom made one. It's not one of those like just traditional Chinese like parts bin. That's what I meant by it. For connectivity, it's good with an asterisk. While it does give you a detachable 3.5 millimeter connection, which is great. We love detachable connections. However, the asterisk here is not only do they not give you a splitter for many PCs, but the cable, like the actual 3.5 millimeter cable is very, very short. Now, sound quality on the Arctis Nova 1Ps is good. It's actually really good. The bass is not overbearing or muddy, but I honestly want a little more bass. The mids and trebles are very good, but slightly muddy, and it doesn't do anything incredibly well. But don't get me wrong, the sound quality here is still very good. It's just very like, it's very flat. An EQ could probably do a lot to this headset. Comfort here though is honestly really good. For my head, it presses slightly too hard, but the ear cuffs are really nice and plush and the top band honestly feels great. The mic quality here is also impressively good, but take a listen for yourself. This is the mic test of the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 1Ps. Check, 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 one, two, three. That is how it sounds. It's. Yeah, it's quite good. And the compatibility is PC with an asterisk. If you need that splitter, well, you'll have to get a splitter. And then PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Kind of seems like with the cable length and not having a splitter that it's kind of aimed more at a console audience, which I could definitely see as they put a lot of money into the build quality, which, well, if you have a console, you're probably gonna be moving the headset around more. So that makes sense. Again, if you wanna check out these exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you wanna check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.